Hey guys, Rick Queen and Radio Rex here for a little Lego news video. Yes, I'm a little bit different. Yep. So, um, there is a rumored set list. It's not actually confirmed. Star Wars news. Ooh, Ooh Star Wars. <laughs> um, but <laughs> this is kind of interesting because it is based on the new movie, ah, The episode Rise nine. of Skywalker. <laughs> yes, episode nine, The Rise of Skywalker. Um, which, by the way, are, are we going to see that in theaters? I think I will this time because I've literally watched every Star Wars movie at theater. Since they came out, besides the old old seventies ones, but you know, yeah, but, but like, I but I even saw the remakes of those. That's what I was gonna say. I thought you had on so. all of those. So yeah, I've basically seen almost every Star Wars movie I, <laughs> opening night. Since I definitely way back in the can't day. say the same, but uh, if you want to go, we'll go. <laughs> no, yeah, it's fine. Anyway, um, so rumored set list. Um, there's what seven on here. Mm. There's a gun turret. Mm. Sounds boring. Yeah. You know, the 50 millionth A-Wing. Yeah. Um, we have an ATST. I mean, those can be okay, just, but like you said, there's been... You yeah, know, it's... there's been a lot of them. Um, there's a speeder bike and land speeder. Well, that That's might all be together. cool, because that might be something new. Yeah, it could like, be. Like, that could be, like, a new... Well, it has to be a new land speeder, a new land speeder, yeah. a new speeder bike, so... Yeah, and you know. I mean, this is based off of Rise of Skywalker, not yeah. the old stuff. So exactly, so we'll new see. Stuff. <laughs> and then we have a Y wing, which is like the fifth one. Yeah, eh. yeah. And then we have a uh, Kylo Ren's starship. I mean, like it depends on what it looks like, but if it's like anything like a remake of the last one, it's just a remake of the last one. Yeah, and then last and. I don't want to say not least, but I'm so not impressed that we're getting yet another Millennium Falcon. I mean, like, how many do you need? Yeah. How many do you need? How many do you need? I mean, like, I don't need, like, one that costs, like, what was it, $800 for that UCS one they yeah, made? Yeah, like, I, I absolutely refuse to buy that one. It was cool, but I just... $800 for a Lego set is just, way, it's just too extravagant I for mean, a Lego set. E even if you want to go with, like, the, the one that's... Um, rumored here uh, recently, um, and this is not it. The picture on the screen, that's just kind of like a placeholder. Um, but the next UCS Lego Star Wars set is reported to be $700. I, that's uh, just, I, I think that's just getting to the point where it's just too ridiculous, it, to be honest with you. I don't think that any Lego set should ever cost anywhere near that much. No, like, well... I hate to be like the old timer in the room, but in my <laughs> day, you could buy a whole line of Legos for like two hundred, two hundred fifty dollars. Yeah, whole line, like the whole. And you could buy like the whole Johnny Thunder line. Like I, I mean, the I whole thing. Wasn't like that Stranger Things set right there behind you? Wasn't it like was it two hundred fifty? I like can't. Two hundred, two hundred fifty, something like yeah, that. Something yeah, something like that. I mean, like for one set. Yeah. I I mean, obviously, we really wanted the set and we got it. Yeah. But I just don't really think that. They should be making sets that size. No, I'm, I, yeah, I mean, just scale they, they them just down. put on the focus. I mean, like, they just want you to pay for the minifigures. Let's be yeah. real about it. They're literally charging people out the butt for minifigures. Yeah, I think a lot like, of people, like, I mean, like, let's just, let's just focus on Star Wars here. That's what we've been talking about. I mean, if, if they made a Star Wars minifigure series. Yeah, they would make a uh, fortune. Yeah, people would be so happy. They yeah. would get, like, all kinds of new characters, yeah, new versions could, of characters. They could literally fund the molds for them. Yeah. You know, you, you would just have so much more. Yeah, all and, kinds and, of stuff and, like that. And, That's so much because, better. Because, I mean, like, most designers want to build the ships and stuff themselves, so. Yeah, and I, I like that, like, they're doing some more of those, like, character packs where it's just like three or four characters yeah, I do and like, like a those, little bit that is a direction those, i want lego to go in yeah i like, really that like is, that that, direction. that is the direction lego needs to go in yeah like basic little lego sets with like really key figures that everybody yeah, wants absolutely and you know i'm i am very curious what do you think that seven hundred dollar UCS well, Star Wars no, set will they're, be. They're expecting. They're well, obviously they want it to be a death or superstar short. Well, but I, I think it I may think they be just something put that there the because movie. that was a yeah sort of kind but of. But I think it's something one. to the new movie, maybe. Yeah, it, it may be something like a new big platform. I, I'm not sure if it'll ship. be from the new movie because it's yeah. coming out. 
fall of this That's year. That's true. So, and they don't usually put that much effort into something so new. Yeah. So, you well, know. Well, because, like, it looks like the set would probably be coming out before the movie does. So, I don't know if they would do that. Um, I don't know. But it just seems I mean, like, well, even if it's, uh, it's got to be something, some big shit. Yeah. Because that's that's what Star Wars is yeah, for they, the most part. They already made a new Cloud City, so yeah. I don't expect it's to be that. Like that. Um, it's it could be a UCS big ship of some kind that just is, you know, like TIE Fighter, Y Wing, you know what I mean? It's some big, yeah. big thing like that. They do that a lot too. Like, so like a gargantuan slave one or something. Yeah, something like, yeah, <laughs> I mean, it could be I anything. Don't know. It, yeah, there's there's all kinds of different ships that they could make. Yeah. Now, like, I think, you know, one of the worst ideas that they could make would be to, like, make, like, a, a $700 A-Wing. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah. I'm I mean, so there are some A-Wings. People, there, there, there are some people that would buy that. Like, oh, yeah, you know, of course. But see, but anybody but, will buy anything in a fandom. Like, obviously, like, some of us like a fandom and will buy whatever there is. Right, there is. absolutely. Like, nobody's I mean, dissing that. But it's just, like, for the regular Lego fan... I think some of us are tired of seven hundred dollars spaceships and would rather see like pirates or castle theme return. You know? Yeah. Like I just want well, to see I mean, that like, kind of stuff return. Well, it's like you said too. I mean, used to you could buy like the whole line yeah. of a for theme. a couple hundred bucks. Yeah. Whereas n- now they want you to buy one set well, I mean, for like, seven hundred. It, it, it's really becoming an upper class thing. Like, let's be real with it. Like, yeah. average working class children don't, or like you know, parents for their working class kids don't have the money to buy seven hundred dollar Lego sets. No, this I mean, is specifically like, for a different audience to, of people. Just to kind of put this in frame, I mean, like that's about how much we had to spend to fix our air conditioner this year. Yeah, exactly. So, so like, so I mean, like, <laughs> somebody's not going to spend eight hundred dollars for a like the regular average family is not going to spend eight hundred dollars for a. Lego set when they can fix their house, build a fence, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, see, like, back in the day in the 90s, it was, like, you know, $5 set, 20 you know, you move up. Well, you you know, know, the highest you got was maybe a couple hundred dollars set or something. You know, you know? used to, you would be like, oh, I'm going to save up, like, my birthday money or Christmas money. Yeah, and I'm going to get a really and, cool Lego set, like a right. train or something. And yeah. now you would you would have to save it up for, like, years. Like, eight years. months, Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and then, and then by that time you'd probably not want it, right? Like, see, that's the thing. Yeah, you, you know could what I mean? you could spend all this money on like these it, huge it, Lego it just sets. That, like, or you it could get a like, class like war new video thing. games. Yeah, it's, it's just become a class war thing. It's like rich yeah. kids get it, poor kids don't. Bottom line, like, yeah. I'm just leveling I with just, you. you I know? just don't see the. I mean, I'm not saying in making I'm not, such large sets. I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm just not saying that life isn't fair. First of all, right. you know what I'm saying? Like, nobody under, you know, no. not by that. But I'm just saying, like, it used to be more economical for you to go purchase a few bottom base sets rather than an $800 Lego set. Yeah. Like, for $800 in the 90s, you could have owned pretty much everything in the catalog. Yeah. Like, all the themes. You could have bought know, space, right? castle. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, pirates. Like, you could have went in the store and, like, went on a shopping spree from Galoreville. You know what I'm I saying? Know. Like, and that's what I'm saying. Like, nobody wants to pay $800 for a set. I, I just, I would much, much rather them make, like, a whole lot of small sets yeah, than like, one big one. That's, yeah. like, my biggest yeah, like, like, problem with yeah, it. Yeah, see, see, that's the thing. Like, even with the Stranger Things set, I like the set, but... At the same time, if they would have made, like, two or three little smaller sets, I would have been just as happy with it. Yeah, but you know what I mean? then you don't necessarily have to buy, buy the characters you want or whatever you or, want, you know. Or you can buy, like, you can buy one now, wait until next month, buy, buy another, another one. another one, and then kind and, of build it up. Yeah. yeah, like, I just think that You don't have to just, like, bust better, it out and a, pay, Just a like, better way to do it. Yeah, it, it used to be a better way to do it, but, you know. Well, I still think it would be better now <laughs> if they yeah. would do that, but... <laughs> I don't yeah. know. I mean, I just think that's... It's kind of the way it's gone now, but it's yeah. just, it, it just seems like it's weird. You know what I so mean? So, I, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and, and say, like, I don't really care what the $700 Star Wars set is. Yeah. I'm not buying it. No, not whatsoever. No. Like, I'm just not wasting that kind of <laughs> so, dough on a Lego set. Like, I love Lego. Yeah, don't that... get me wrong. Love Lego. Not paying 800 Like, no. I, the most we pay for a set is, like, what, 
what the Death Star was at four five hundred bucks, something like that, three four hundred well, dollars. And like this Harry Potter, yeah, something set. like that. You know, yeah. but something we really really like. But yeah. it's not even five hundred dollars, is what I'm saying. Right. I but mean, like, and you get the whole Harry Potter castle. I mean, you know, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. But like eight hundred bucks for I a know. ship. You know what I mean? I'm sorry, no, I'm out. No, thank you. Yeah. I mean, like, I. It's a better idea, you know. You have like the regular. Yeah. Line, like coming but, yeah, out like the, the rise of Skywalker. But even still, look at but, the prices for this stuff. How much is that total? Probably. Well, what, what is it like roughly? It, it's hard to say because the prices that they have right here yeah, are, kind of are in pounds. So we're talking about so, well, they're definitely more than that in, in American, basically, I, right? I don't, I, I don't I, know what the I, I conversion that, rate like, is. It's I'm not probably even like three hundred bucks for that line of sets. Well, let's roughly. just. I mean, like let's just base it on pounds right now. The Millennium Falcon is. One thirty nine point nine nine pounds. So that's like so one hundred and forty pounds for yeah, that. So like one hundred fifty bucks basically with tax. Probably roughly yeah, something like that. One hundred fifty bucks. Then you got like a hundred dollars for the Kylo Ren spaceship, which yeah, most people are going to buy because it's a little different. That one's one hundred and ten pounds. So, so the Y wing is seventy five pounds. The speeder bike so and land speeder that's fifty five pounds. The ATST is another fifty five pounds. The A wing is twenty five pounds, and the gun turret is eighteen pounds. That's the lowest level you got was 18 pounds, yes. right? So, okay, bottom line, when I was, I hate to keep going back to this, <laughs> I paid $5 for the Luke Land Speeder when the first Star Wars wave came out. Yeah. $5, bro. Well, and you know what I mean? You, you know, you That's a big to, difference. <laughs> you used to find sets on sale a lot more, oh, yeah, too. Yeah, but they, they, they don't want to talk about that because they take their inventory back and then they yeah. don't read. They don't yeah, do some... that, sell stuff. So, you know, we're not allowed to do that no more. Yeah. Not on mass scales anymore. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you might catch but, a good deal someplace or something. Yeah, but, but it's not like, like it, you know, it used to be. Like, now, like, they'll mark it down, like, $5, yeah. $10 for a bigger one. Yeah, that's, that's about, about it. it. But, anyway, um, <laughs> <laughs> just just kind of wanted to go over, like, the, the, the latest rant. stuff in Star Wars <laughs> yeah, yeah. land here. Yeah. Um, and and I do like that we're getting, like, the new Lego Star Wars video game. Yeah. I don't know if I'll get it or not, but... I don't know. Eh, Depends. We'll see. I don't know. I'll have just, to see more of it first. Yeah. But, yeah. anyway, that that's kind of a different point yeah. there. Um, let us know in the comments what you think of... The rumored set list here for Rise of Skywalker, and also that, in our opinion, absolutely ridiculous seven hundred dollar price tag for the upcoming UCS yep. uh, Star Wars set that we don't even know what is yet. Yep. I don't know. I'm I'm totally not digging the seven hundred dollar price tag. I'm not digging whatever that it anyway, is. You know. But anyway, let us know your thoughts in the comments below, and we will see you guys next time. Later. Before you go, don't forget to click my picture to subscribe to the channel. And if you already subscribed, you can click the thumbnail to check out more of my videos.